Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about 13 of the best apps or websites for secondhand shopping or thrifting online. Heads up that the majority of these are based in the US, but if you'd like me to cover some additional ones that are based internationally, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, thread up. If you're from the US, you've probably already heard of the San Francisco-based startup. ThreadUp is an online platform that deals specifically with women's and children's clothing. They're known for having a large variety of brands and selections and for their clean-out kits. Pros This online secondhand shopping website features a large selection of clothes across multiple brands and sizes and fits. The garments are displayed on mannequins and are professionally photographed so you never have to worry about blurry or unclear photos. When you use this platform, you can select the option to shop specifically from your local warehouse, which eliminates carbon emissions, or you can choose to browse selections across all locations, leading to better options and offerings. And one of the best parts about using this website for secondhand clothing is that you can save your searches and send notifications for when you're looking for a specific item, or you can save your size so that you don't have to browse through all the other sizes that won't fit. Cleanout kits are are a great resource for when you're trying to minimize your closet and organize and donate some of the clothes that you no longer wear or no longer fit you. Basically what you do is you go onto their website, select the clean out kit option, and then it'll send you a prepaid bag and you just put all of your garments in there, seal it up, and then send it off at UPS or FedEx. And then ThreadUp takes care of the listing, the photographing, the pricing for you. And it's really just a great way to minimize and to simplify the closet cleanout process if you're trying to work with a more minimal wardrobe. Cons. Because ThreadUp has so many offerings, it can be overwhelming to browse. You can counter this by searching for very specific listings or narrowing down your criteria depending on what it is that you're looking for. There are no detailed images or photographs of any tears or worn down areas or damages and you can't request any specific photos because they're all listed and managed by ThreadUp the platform itself. So it's not like a situation where you can message the buyer and and ask them for more details. And last but not least, their offerings are only limited to women's and children's clothing options, so if you're looking for something more androgynous or for more masculine uh, items, then typically you might have to look elsewhere. Number two, Poshmark. Poshmark is arguably ThreadUp's biggest competitor in the US. If you are looking for an online secondhand shopping marketplace, website, or app that functions a little bit less like your traditional online shop and a little bit more like your local consignment store, then this platform is for you. It provides a more community-based experience where you get to interact with a seller, really bargain and bid, and also set your favorites. While you do have the option of browsing general listings, the magic of Poshmark is that you can look through a seller's curated list and it provides a more niche experience. And you can also engage in Posh parties, which are like small gatherings for niche listings. Pros. Poshmark is an online marketplace that allows for fun, interactive experiences if you choose to participate in it. This platform offers the option to bargain with sellers, so so you can negotiate the price to something that fits better with your own budget. It's definitely financially advantageous to thread up where the listings are already set in their price. Bundling options on this website also give you the experience of purchasing more with less money. So what happens here is that the seller will put multiple items in a bin or you can select multiple offerings and they'll offer it to you at a discounted price. Cons. Poshmark is only available in the US and Canada so it definitely restricts international buying and selling. There's a larger variation in the way items are listed and in the image quality. So you definitely have to spend more time reading through the details and asking buyers specific questions about their listing. Poshmark can be a little time consuming depending on the type of shopper that you are. 
Number three, Depop. Depop is a cross between social media and online shopping. Pros. This online secondhand shopping website features a large selection of clothes across multiple brands and sizes and fits. This unique and creative online platform connects users with a strong aesthetic sense. If you use Instagram, this platform is going to be very intuitive for you to use. Depop is available in Europe and in the US. Because sellers really get to play with how they list their products, it's a unique and creative and individualized shopping experience. Cons. Scammers exist. It's not as secure of a platform as ThreadUp, for example, because sellers do control their own listings and it's a lot of back and forth and negotiation with each individual seller. So definitely be careful when you use this app. The user demographic tends to be a little younger and you'll probably find cheaper, more fast fashion finds than well-constructed garments. Number four, eBay. An oldie but a goodie. eBay is still going strong as an online secondhand shopping market. This platform has been around since 1995 and it offers much more than just secondhand clothing. Sure, the listings are a little more confusing to browse and the quality might be a gamble, but if you're willing to put in the time to browse, then the secondhand shopping platform is for you. Pros A huge selection of offerings. eBay has been around forever and so for a lot of sellers, it's a very comfortable place to go. Because of that, you'll find a lot of listings from different people, from different places, with different aesthetic senses, and so it's great if you're looking for something niche or small or unique. Obviously, you can basically find anything that you need, so eBay is the best place for that. Cons! eBay can be difficult to use and it's confusing to browse. Uh, the listings are definitely chaotic and additionally, some retailers have taken to posting their listings on eBay as well, so sometimes it's hard to tell what's sold secondhand and what is actually a first-hand new item. Number five. Patagonia Worn Wear. This is the perfect platform for anyone looking for athletic wear. Patagonia is an example of one of those brands that is deeply committed to sustainability and they've been at it for decades now. Their secondhand shop is just another manifestation of this. Patagonia's worn wear allows users to trade in their used Patagonia garments and gear for store credit and additionally allows new users to browse through those lightly used offerings and search for secondhand items that are still very much usable. Pros This online secondhand marketplace offers quality gear and quality garments at a very discounted price. It's the best option for shopping outdoor garments and outdoor gear as well as clothing. So you can find um, like harnesses and other specific things that you might need for hiking or camping and just outdoor activities in general. And the best part about Patagonia is that sustainability is built into their company model, into their company's values, and so we really love to support them. Cons. This online secondhand fashion marketplace obviously only offers Patagonia items, so the selections are limited. Also, they're largely US-based, so international shipping might cost more money. Number six, Facebook Marketplace. This is a platform that I personally used a lot in college, but have since somehow forgotten about it. Facebook Marketplace is an online secondhand shopping website and app that allows users and businesses to connect locally. And it's also a very intuitive platform to use. If you're on Facebook already, just browsing through the marketplace is definitely an easy way to go. Facebook Marketplace is a great way to find communities and sellers in your local region. So if you search online thrift with your city name or whatever it is, it's a great way to connect with local sellers and build networking systems there. Pros. Localized shopping, is there anything better than shopping within your own local community? You can utilize drop-off options and opt out of paying for shopping if you're comfortable with it. And the best thing is that it's an intuitive platform to use, especially if you're already on Facebook. 
cons. This online secondhand shopping platform is more for home goods and electronics. So if you're looking specifically for fashion, I would probably recommend something like ThreadUp or Poshmark because you can probably find what you're looking for. Additionally, because the items are individually listed, you have to be very selective with the sellers that you're communicating with and also be very sure about safety. It seems like a lot of the secondhand marketplace options have moved into Facebook groups, so alternatively, please look into those uh, specifically in your local area. Number seven, Etsy. While Etsy is more commonly associated with handmade crafts, you can definitely find a fair share of secondhand and especially vintage garments on this platform. Clothing styles do tend to lean towards a more feminine aesthetic, however, so just keep that in mind. Pros Unique vintage listings Because it's such a strong marketplace for handmade items, Etsy definitely features a lot of great vintage finds if that is your aesthetic. Etsy is an online marketplace that offers a lot of intimate shopper experience, so if you're looking for something really special and want great communication between the seller, Etsy is definitely the way to go. Cons Again, because they tend to feature more handmade crafts and items on that side of the spectrum, um, their clothing styles and offerings tend to be limited in brands and sizes. Etsy is the best online marketplace if you're looking for something really unique in style and taste, if you're looking for something really special. It's just hard to sometimes gauge what items are secondhand, which items are handcrafted and upcycled. I mean, they're all within the sustainable fashion spectrum, and so I don't see that there's a huge issue there. Just wanted to make that clear on the delineation. Number eight, Mercari. Mercari is a Japanese e-commerce app that currently operates in Japan and in the US. It's one of the easiest for individuals to use and to sell their secondhand goods on, and so it's a very intuitive, streamlined platform. I definitely recommend checking it out. Pros. It's a simple and streamlined process, especially if you're a buyer just going through the app and deciding the items that you like. It's a very easy process to browse. Mercari is app-based, so you can take your shopping on the go. While sometimes it can be a little nicer to look at things on the desktop and to look at things on a larger screen, um, this app is great for when you just want to browse things in bed, for example, or in a more comfortable setting. Hi, this is G from the future. As I was editing this, I realized that I completely forgot to mention the cons. So here are some cons of using Macari. Number one, there's a small community of sellers, so naturally you're not going to have as many listings as some of the other platforms that we mentioned earlier. And secondly, the quality of each listing varies greatly, as you can find from a lot of these other platforms where there is a direct connection between the seller and the buyer. Number 9. Tradesy. Tradesy is an online consignment shop for luxury goods. So if you're looking to browse your secondhand luxury items online, this website and app is great for you. They authenticate every item that is listed and you can shop for clothing, bags, accessories, and a whole bunch more. Pros! Again, every item is authenticated so that you know that the luxury item you're getting is the real one. Their customer service is top-notch, so you get a quality experience with your quality items as well. And I love that the company is working towards more equity and sustainability within their company structure and in how they function. So we love to see that companies are actually putting this at the top of their agenda and working towards making a bigger impact. Cons. They only sell luxury items, so if you're looking to find a deal on something that is not branded, then you're out of luck. Number 10, Ruby Lane. Ruby Lane is one of the best online shopping secondhand experiences for anyone that is in love with vintage. They were founded in 1998, so just a little bit later than eBay, um, and they carry not only vintage fashion, but also antiques, art, decor, and collectibles. Pros. 
You can find really unique vintage listings here. Think Etsy, but even more targeted towards antique and vintage articles. Their lane book selection offers buyers to filter by aesthetic or theme. So for example, if you're looking for a mid-century piece of furniture, for example, you can look into that aesthetic and browse through those listings. I love that this website highlights independent shops and sellers and really tries to get people to discover new listings. Cons. There are a lot of listings on this website and it can be very difficult to sort through. Additionally, because vintage items don't always have um, branded names or specific descriptions, it's hard to really sort through when you're just looking through the search bar. I looked through some of the reviews on this website and it seems like they were pretty inconsistent with customer service and communication. So when you're using this platform, definitely be a little bit cautious about that. Last but not least, Ruby Lane does take a really large cut from their sellers. So if you're looking to get your vintage clothing or or items onto this website, just be mindful of that. Number 11, Bonanza. Bonanza is an online marketplace that highlights new and secondhand fashion, home goods, gardening, and additional items. They put the sellers at the forefront and really try to foster long-term relationships between buyers and sellers on their platform. Pros. It's the best platform for sellers, they have very low fees, it's easy to use, and it's also very easy to navigate as a buyer. Bonanza offers great communication and support, so if you're in need of that, then definitely check this website out. Cons. Sometimes it's really difficult to tell if an item is new or secondhand, so if you're looking to thrift an item or purchase an item that was previously owned, then just be very careful about the listing and about what they say there. Because they put independent sellers at the forefront, there's less uniformity across listings and also shipping and pricing. Just make sure that you're looking at independent store policies in addition to their site-wide policies. Number 12, Swap. Swap is an online consignment retailer that features fashion for all people. They were created in 2013 and are based in Downers Grove, Illinois, but also have offices in Chicago and in Helsinki, Finland. Clothes. They offer large selections of clothes across all genres, cheap finds. I found a BCBG bikini top for only $10, so really great finds there if you can dig. And overall, I found the shopping experience to be a smooth one and the website was easy to navigate and to filter for specific items, listings, and sizes. Cons. There was negative feedback on the selling process, so for example, items getting lost or poor customer service. If you plan on selling with them, definitely do a little bit more research there. I think there are probably better platforms to use. Much like a lot of these other online marketplaces that connect users directly with buyers, there is variable item quality. Just make sure that you really look specifically into the item details and request any additional information and photographs when you're looking to purchase. Number 13, Vestera Collective. If you're into luxury items, Vestera Collective is for you. This online secondhand consignment marketplace first launched in Paris in 2009, but they have since expanded to New York, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Berlin. The shopping platform mainly functions as an app, but you can also browse it on the desktop as well. Pros. Much like Tracy, every item that is listed is authenticated by an expert. They host a large selection of luxury items, whether that's clothing, bags, shoes, accessories, whatever it is, you can probably find it. You can send notification settings for very specific items that you're looking for. They also offer the option to buy locally so that you can reduce shipping emissions. Cons. Vester Collective only sells luxury items, so if you're looking for something that is non-branded, then you're not going to find it on this online marketplace. 
There were some reviews about customer service and communication being spotty, so just be really sure before you make a purchase. And last but not least, there were also some negative reviews about descriptions not necessarily matching the quality of the items described. So just again, be very, very thorough when vetting listings. So there you have it, 13 online secondhand websites or apps that are great for secondhand or thrifted fashion. Thank you so much for sticking through till the very end. If you liked this video or thought it was helpful, please give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to, turn on the notification bell if you'd like to. Um, and yeah, if you use any of these platforms, please share with us down below. We'd love to learn more about your thoughts there. And if there are additional websites or apps that you typically use, please share them down below as well. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to connect soon.